I have a very strong hypothesis that the reason strategies get formulated and then not implemented in organizations is because they don't feel real to anybody except the people who made them up. One of the main reasons many strategic initiatives fail is because they don't embed the collaborative behaviors required for new strategic initiatives to be successful. It's time to bring the thinking in strategic thinking inside of companies. And that also means that we have to empower managers at all levels to actually think through and then also endorse and implement strategy. Well, I think that the main reason is that we are in a crisis of confidence uh, in our leaders. Uh, we don't believe the leaders because they have a position, but we believe leaders when we can trust them. By understanding what talent um, is in an organisation, you can properly deploy them within the correct departments and proper projects. I think that the other thing would be um, about strong leadership. I think that um, a lot of the time leaders are stuck in a particular mind frame and sometimes that can be quite archaic. Um, they're a bit resistant to change. And to get people to change, we need to have a trusted environment. We need to get people to open up and that's where we have to tap into the compassion of the group. So the three reasons, one, over-reliance on the upfront, not really a focus on follow-up, number two, too many of them, and then number three, failure to really understand the true degree to which people are buried out there already without a new initiative. Number one, think of strategies as factoring in what competitors are up to. Second, in fact, look at the multidimensionality of competition. Number three, think of strategy implementation from the lens of organizational learning. Number four, figure out how to do the trade-offs between the short term and the long term. And number five, to have the courage of conviction to actually act behind what your analysis and what your gut tells you.